I was angry with my friend. I told my wrath, my wrath did end. I was angry with my foe. I told it not, my wrath did grow. And I watered it in fears, night and morning with my tears. And I sunned it with smiles and with soft, deceitful wiles. And it grew both day and night, till it bore an apple bright. And my foe beheld it shine, and he knew that it was mine. And into my garden stole, when the night had veiled the pole. In the morning, glad I see, my foe outstretched beneath the tree. William Blake, a poison tree. That wraps up this time's episode of Sound of the Lakes. Tune in next week as we continue our poetic theme of death and vengeance with excerpts from The Telltale Heart by Edgar Allan Poe. I'm Tron Scone, and you're listening to The Sound of the Lakes. native Richard Nitsky was found drowned to death early Sunday morning. His truck was found submerged underneath the waters of Tiaska Lake after Nitsky apparently fell asleep within his vehicle when the ice gave way. A number of local fishermen say they encountered Nitsky not long before the accident. You know, I see Nitsky out there a lot. You know, he's always just sitting in his truck, you know, like listening to the game and he, whenever the bears uh, score a touchdown, he'd be honking his horn. He'd be honking his horn real loud there, like uh, screaming, you know, TD, TD, uh, go Bears. And we're all kind of like, uh, uh, can you keep it down? You know, because we're not Bears fans. And you're scaring away the fish, by the way, besides. Then we come up, we come out there this morning, and just below the ice, we're like, is that a bass or is that a uh, truck down there? And it was his truck. Yeah, so I just see it, like, looking over there, and he's got a big, you know, there's a big truck underneath the water. Yeah, I seen, and then I come out this morning, and I seen a big hole in ice. I, I, yeah, I've seen this kind of thing before, and I know that when it goes down like that, it, that, that that's a car, and uh, a lot of times that there's a human casualty in, in there, too. That turned out to be the case this time, a real tragedy. Yeah, all of our hearts just goes out to the to him and his families. I mean, we all know we're taking a risk out here, and we all do it because we love it, and it's for fun, and uh, it's just a real shame. Efforts have been made to contact the family of Ms. Chernitsky, but as of yet police have failed to find any leads. If you have information as to the whereabouts of any friends or loved ones, please contact us here at 9 on 9 News or your local police. Join me, Tag Shumka, this evening only on DB15. We just gotta um, get it hooked back up in here. And yeah, I, I haven't been back in a while. I don't know what he changed. Can we get a level check, uh, low, low check from Tan, Tron? All right, he says we're all right. Uh, thanks, Tron. Um, gee, Bob, I don't know how to start this. I mean, it's good to be back here for for sure, but oh, gosh, I uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. Well, what do you say? Let's just start this way. Uh, hello, TV15 uh, listening audience. Uh, this is Wayne Gary Stacy. You may have remembered me from previous 
times on TV 15, I was put on sabbatical. Uh, and now I'm back because a very unfortunate turn of events for the new station manager from a couple of months ago, uh, Dick Nitsky has um, passed away and we are very taking this hard and very sad to see that this has happened and we want to dedicate this show we want to dedicate to him uh his legacy and we're just very at a loss for words i think he would have uh bob scabbage here uh for tv 15 you probably remember me too i wasn't gone long uh i think dick would have enjoyed this episode two and um we how how do we move forward from this tragedy i don't know well i think uh dick would have liked us to just uh plow ahead and that's what we've always done and dick was a real go-getter and he was a tenacious fellow and he had a well he had a strong vision and so he wasn't afraid to bump heads with people, uh, including me. And uh, that was a source of problem for us. And But I really got to say that, you know, for what it's worth, uh, I, you know, I could, I could see some very amiable things in the guy. Well, I just, you know, if he was still here, I would probably not be here, which is true. So, you know. But I, I can definitely say I wish he was still here with us. Yeah, I think um, there's probably a lot of regrets on both sides. Dick Nitsky regrets uh, maybe that some of his things, and we definitely uh, regret uh, some things too. But in, I don't think. Uh, I don't think, uh, you know, we need to, I don't think we need to regret anything. I think, uh, you know, he was who he was, you know, uh, a bit of a strong headed guy and, uh, maybe didn't know how things operate here. You know, he kind of came in and he was a fish out of water, kind of took the reins, you know, it, it's, it's not always a good fit and sometimes it doesn't always work out that great but that's not to say anything about his character I'm sure he was a great guy The world of languages is for you Exotic far off places are within your grasp with just a few simple short lessons Jared With our Learn to Speak series you'll be fluent in nearly every language within a month all you need to become an international cosmopolitan polyglot is packaged in one spectacular set by us for you. Each night, just turn on the relaxing osmosis language course on compact disc or MP3 and let the words sink into your subconscious. Studies show that most human language is derived from the subconscious and only recently have scientists begun to tap into the power of sleep state learning. The Learn to Speak by Osmosis audio has specially tuned soothing music that induces a calm alpha state in the mind as new phrases are literally absorbed by osmosis into your brain while you get a restful sleep. Dreaming about that exotic trip to a far off place that you've always wanted to go to but never had the guts to try? Now it's as simple as learning the language. Learn to express yourself in such exotic languages as Esperanto. Does anyone here speak Esperanto? Macedonian. I'm sorry, I thought this was Prague. Where am I? No, you may not have my passport. Haitian Creole. I love crayfish. Where I'm from, we call them crawdaddies. Arabic. Let's go to Best Buy and buy DVDs and then have an ice cream. Bislama. Me blanc too big. 
So you said you have long five pig. I have two pigs and they have five pigs. Me want some three fella pig. So me just kill him three fella. Me all get all them pig. I wanted their pigs, so I just killed them and I got all the pigs. And even Swahili. Gee. Does anyone here speak Esperanto? Order now and get access to all the world's languages for the one-time price of $99.75. Call now before supplies run out. Scarcity is what will make you call us now. Small writing spoken quickly. All learn to speak by osmosis products are backed by a phony 30-day money-back guarantee. We accept credit card, check, or COD. Please attach proper postage when sending check payments. Please wait up to 30 days for delivery, at which point you will have exactly one day to determine if the product is worth the money you paid and then must decide if you want your money back. If we could contact his family somehow, if we knew where they were, you know, I'd like to to give them my my grief, my condolences on on, the, on that, and apologize to them, just for like, um, you know, how some of the hard times we had, I guess. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's not that we. I mean, I would, I would just feel sorry. I just want to say. We're sorry how it turned out, how things happened, you know, and maybe he should have stayed out there in Chicago where he knew his territory. And uh, out here, it's a whole different story. Sometimes you misjudge things and you end up out on the lake and you, you know, you slip through the ice because you don't, you're not from around here and you don't know what's going to happen. And, uh, you know. I, you know, if I could have been there to warn him, sure, I would have told him, hey, maybe you shouldn't go out there on the lake and have a couple of beers and keep your heater on like you do. And, you know, it's just common sense where we're from. But, you know, like I said, uh, fish out of water, you came from somewhere else. And uh, it just, sometimes you don't know, you never know, so... Yeah, I wish uh, somebody had been there to help him out or something because, you know, the fact that he was all alone and there wasn't nobody around to help him is, like, that's a pr that's sad. And if someone had just been in the vicinity, but according to the police, there was nobody around when he fell down, so... Yeah, just a real tragic thing. Real tra tragic turn of events, and uh, you know, Bob and I, if we had been there, you know.
we were up north too, but we weren't nearby or anything. If we had only just been there, I, w- I would have helped him, you know. Yeah, I mean, I would have helped him too. If I had been there and known that he was doing that kind of a dumb thing out there on the ice, I, <laughs> boy, I would have told him for sure, you're not going to want to be out there doing this. And that'll, that'll, I mean, you know, it's a recipe for disaster. So if I, you know, I've just been thinking about if I had a time machine and I could just go back there, you know, and like just help him out, you know, tell him not to go on the ice. You know, I would just take that time, right? Time machine, right? No problem. Anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, if, if, if and buts are like chips and nuts and uh you know uh but you can't change what's what was already had faded to be done i don't mean to paint it like that but you know like i said uh he was a hard-nosed kind of drive he had to drive to him and uh he was gonna do what he was gonna do and no one could tell him otherwise is that right not right bob i mean he sure had the guts to kick me off of there, so yeah. Yeah, he um, he charged ahead like a Chicago Bull, and that ended up being a bad, uh, being an unfortunate thing. But now that uh, he's gone, I'm hoping that we can move to a, to a better place where there's just not stuff like that happening. comes from the minds, mouths, and hands of Joshua S. Lundquist and Christopher W. Nelson. Please visit our homepage at tv-15.com for all of our past episodes, songs, videos and more. The entire staff would like to wish a very peaceful rest to the late Dick Nitsky. Until next time, goodbye.